For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Wednesday, January 12th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. The Vermont Health Department continues to sort out over 40,000 new COVID-19 tests that have come in recently. The State Agency of Human Services says about 4,300 of those tests were positive. The state is hoping to have a new set of case numbers within the next day. The state of New Hampshire on Tuesday reporting three deaths, 1,627 new cases of the virus. There was one death and 62 new cases reported in Cheshire County. The state of Massachusetts on Tuesday reporting 116 deaths, 17,802 new cases of the virus. There were four deaths and 149 new cases reported in Franklin County. Vermont health officials have a new strategy that jettisons contact tracing and embraces rapid testing. Health Commissioner Mark Levine says the high number of cases has made it impossible to continue contact tracing because both the highly contagious nature of the Omicron variant and the shorter incubation period. Now the state says it's up to infected individuals to alert close contacts and there will be as of this morning, Wednesday at 10 a.m., a new website that will allow Vermonters to order rapid tests online. There will be 250,000 kits available initially, and there will be a limit of two per household. Senator Bernie Sanders is upset the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services proposed a rule that would cover Adjuhelm, the Alzheimer's treatment and similar drugs in development, only for people enrolled in qualifying clinical trials. According to Sanders, Medicare should be negotiating drug prices with the pharmaceutical industry. If the administration takes no action, Medicare recipients will continue to see their biggest premium increase in history. The Department for Children and Families announced on Tuesday that many Three Squares VT households will continue to receive a higher benefit in January and February. This extra help is part of the federal coronavirus relief bill. It will not permanently change a household's monthly benefit. It is a temporary increase from the federal government to help those affected by the pandemic. WTSA Sports. The Bruins host their old friends, the Montreal Canadiens, tonight with the puck dropping at 7 p.m. The Celtics are in Indianapolis facing off against the Pacers this evening, tip off at 7 p.m. And locally, has heard on 99.5 The Beast and 99.5thebeast.com in girls high school ba basketball action last night, Fairhaven beats Brattleboro 37 to 29. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Wednesday, January 12th, my name is Ian Kelly.